Hola buenas, get ready for an exhilarating video. Today's book review is on the captivating and thought-provoking Rich Dad Poor Dad, written by the renowned financial guru, Robert Kiyosaki. For me, it kick-started my intrigue into personal finance and had somewhat of an influence in starting this YouTube channel. This is where it all began, Puddin. Today, I want to break down a few of the main ideas of this amazing eye-opening book and maybe encourage you to read it. So without any further ado, let's get started. Empathemos. At heart, it's a book about personal finance, but not in any way that speaks over your head like so many other financial books. This is boring. It introduces you into this world for those that are financially illiterate. I say this because that's the position I was in starting out with this book. The book goes on to teach you about investing and financial literacy. We are first introduced to this new world through the eyes of the author, way back when Robert Kiyosaki was a child, sharing his experiences and the insights gained from his two fathers. His biological father, whom he referred to as Poor Dad, and his best friend's father, whom he calls Rich Dad. Robert's Poor Dad was highly educated and worked as a government employee. He was a hard worker, but struggled financially, often living from paycheck to paycheck. Robert's rich dad was an entrepreneur and self-made millionaire. Rich dad did not have a college degree, but was financially savvy and owned multiple businesses. Rich dad taught Robert the importance of financial education, building assets that generate passive income, the differences between assets and liabilities, and encouraging him to focus on acquiring assets whilst minimizing his liabilities. You're an asset, an expendable asset. More on this in a little bit. Rich Dad believed that the key to financial success was having a strong financial education and a mindset focused on growth and opportunity. In contrast, Poor Dad believed in the traditional path of getting a good education, working hard and saving money. You have to go to school. He believed in living below your means and avoiding debt. However, Poor Dad did not have a strong understanding of finance and investing, and his mindset was often focused on scarcity and limitations. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Ultimately, Robert decided to follow in his rich dad's footsteps and pursue a career in entrepreneurship and investing. He built multiple businesses and invested in real estate and stocks, eventually becoming a self-made millionaire himself. Now that we know a bit of background about Robert Kiyosaki, let's look at some of the key lessons taken away from his book. The difference between assets and liabilities. Robert emphasizes the importance of understanding the difference between assets and liabilities. An asset is something that puts money into your pocket, while a liability takes money out of your pocket. Yeah. Liability. He encourages readers to acquire assets and minimize liabilities to achieve financial independence. The importance of financial education. Robert argues that financial education is the key to financial success. He believes that traditional education does not adequately prepare people for the real world of money and investing. I'm not ready, Jamie, I'm not ready. He advocates for self-education and encourages readers to learn about finance and investing on their own. I couldn't agree more with this point. There were a lot of things I was taught in school that I feel have no value to me now. But when I reflect on my financial education, I think I speak for my generation in the UK at least, we didn't have the opportunity to learn about personal finance in compulsory education. The cash flow quadrant. Robert introduces the concept of the cash flow quadrant, which categorizes people into four groups. Employees, self-employed individuals, business owners, and investors. He explains that the goal should be to move from the left side of the quadrant, employee and self-employed, to the right side, business owner and investor to achieve financial freedom. The power of passive income. Robert talks about the importance of passive income. Isn't like passive income the American dream? Which is money earned without active involvement. He believes that passive income is the key to financial freedom and encourages readers to focus on building sources of passive income. Passive. 
such as rental properties, stocks, and businesses. One form of passive income he discusses are index funds. Robert sees index funds as a good investment option for those who want to invest in the stock market without spending a lot of time researching individual stocks or paying high fees. He notes that index funds offer a diversified portfolio of stocks and typically have lower fees than actively managed mutual funds. It's passive income, minimal risk the value of taking calculated risks. Robert argues that taking calculated risks is essential to building wealth. He encourages readers to take risks and learn from their mistakes, rather than playing it safe and missing out on potential opportunities. There is a game that you can play online. What I'm gonna do is add the link to the description if you're interested. From this, you can learn how to make risky decisions in a safe environment and teaches you the key premise of taking risks in order to get on in life, the importance of mindset. Robert believes that mindset is crucial for financial success. He encourages readers to adopt a rich mindset which focuses on abundance opportunity and growth rather than poor mindset, which focuses on scarcity, fear and limitations. One of the phrases that Robert encourages people to avoid is, I can't afford that. He believes that this phrase reinforces a mindset of scarcity and limitation. Instead, he recommends using the phrase, how can I afford that? This phrase encourages a mindset of possibility and opportunity. By changing the language we use, we can shift our thinking from limitations to possibilities. Asking, how can I afford that, forces us to think creatively and come up with solutions to achieve financial goals. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. It encourages us to take action and find ways to generate income or reduce expenses to achieve what we want. The role of taxes in wealth building. Robert argues that understanding how taxes work is essential to building wealth. He advocates for taking advantage of tax laws and using them to your advantage rather than letting taxes eat away at your income. Passive income is taxed lower than active income. Robert therefore encourages readers to focus on building assets that generate passive income to reduce their tax burden. He explains the benefits of owning rental property and the various tax deductions available to real estate. The dangers of consumer debt. Robert warns against the dangers of consumer debt such as credit card debt and car loans. He encourages readers to avoid consumer debt and focus on acquiring assets instead. These are all the key ideas behind Rich Dad Poor Dad. I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment with your thoughts on the book, in addition to any books you may recommend for me. Have a great day. Thanks.